Hey there guys, it's DJ Slope again from Slope's Game Room with another unboxing and as usual you know exactly what these unboxings are all about. It's data disc time. So what? we've got all of the current six um, Streets of Rage, uh, Shenmue, Shinobi 3, Super Hang On, Streets of Rage 2 and Outrun. I've got all the limited editions and thankfully the lovely guys over at data discs have let me uh, get this one a little bit early as well, only by probably a couple of days if that but uh, hey it makes me feel special and that's what's important <laughs> um, I absolutely adore what these guys do uh, not only are they fantastic records um, I mean obviously limited editions if you're able to get there early as well but they're reasonably priced as well these are t all 20 pounds except for the Streets of Rage 2 one which was 25 um, but that was because it's a double vinyl so hey five pound extra for the extra vinyl and it was a gatefold which obviously means it opens like that but I've recently discovered another company uh, that done another Sega soundtrack that I really wanted. I won't name names, I'm not here to, you know, do that. But it was t uh, 80 pounds? 80 pounds. I mean, they were picture discs, I suppose. Which maybe that comes into it, but not 80 pounds. That's ridiculous. So, fantastic company, fantastic vinyls, and a good price, if you ask me. So there you go. By the way, I'm not endorsed by data discs. I do buy all of these myself, because I'm a massive Sega nut. Um, but yeah. Let's have a gander at this one. This one is Golden Axe, obviously. And uh, I've got the limited edition. I'm always scared when I do these videos. I say I've got the limited edition, but then, you know, I might open it and they might have sent me the wrong one. But hey, whatever happens. <laughs> so, uh, actually, I need to open it this way. Ooh, I'm going to hit the record player. That's Shinobi 3 playing there, by the way. Or spinning there. He's always tough to get out. Uh, oh. <laughs> See, I've got a different camera this time, so I'm not looking at myself, but, uh... Ah, oh, that ain't too shabby, is it? Excellent. Definitely nothing else in there. No. Let's throw that away. Ah, yes. Golden Axe 1 and 2, which is a good idea, because the Golden Axe 2 has got a couple of OK tracks, but it's not, you know, it's not worthy of its own release, I suppose. But, uh, hey, Golden Axe 1 and 2. Uh, I've got to say, this is beautiful artwork. I believe this is the... Uh, I think Larry told me, actually. It was the back of the uh, Japanese artwork. Um, yep, yeah, as you can see on the back there as well. Golden Axe 1 and 2. 13 tracks for Golden Axe 1 and 16 tracks for Golden Axe 2. <laughs> How awesome is that? Oh, hell yes. And a really, really nice print of the um, original Golden Axe logo. It might not sound like a lot, but when I was doing my video, it was really hard to find a really good quality image of that proper Golden Axe logo. So, let's open it up. By the way, if you want to check out my complete history review on Golden Axe, then please do click the links below. I've been very lucky with the releases because I've done a complete history on Shenmue, a complete history on Streets of Rage. Um... Shinobi's around the corner. I promise you guys that. There you go. You heard it here first. Um, yeah, so let's get this open. A lot of guys like to keep this on, but for me, it's like having those people that like to keep the uh, the stickiness on their screen, you know, that little cover thing on the screen of their phones. It's not for me. I have to get it off. I can't stand it. Ah, yikes. Oh, yeah, so obviously we've got the lovely Ubi strip there. Uh, golden, obviously. So there were three different versions you could get. You can get gold, which, by the way, the image looked a bit orange. Maybe that's what it is here. We'll see. Um, gold, black, or the limited edition one, which is this one. So there we go. Obviously, always looks so much nicer uh, with that cellophane off. So there's a few bits in here. I know there is. Um, so let's take one bit out at a time. Oh, hell yes. What an incredible... That is such a lovely print. That's so well done. That's really, really nice. Okay. That's the one. Oh, I was hoping I'd print pull this one out second because I wanted to get really excited for this one, but that's the one. It's almost worth it on its own, you know, like that is a jump cut. Oh, I'm really sorry, guys. I, uh, I'm trying out a brand new camera. Thank you, Patreons, by the way. Um, and yeah, uh, I had a setting on where it was only going to film up to a certain amount of time so i apologize i apologize but we'll continue we'll continue we've already looked at this gorgeous artwork here ah which i love which i love 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 and oh there it is golden axe 2 <laughs> how nice is that 
Uh, it's so good as well. It's like literally... There is no pixelation on that at all. I'll give you guys a good um, zoom in at the end when we're playing the music. Um, yes. So um, I suppose it's now time to check out the actual record. Oh, so nice. So nice. Here we go. Here we go. By the way, the packaging on this, it's not just, um, you know, those paper ones you get or just the plastic. It is paper with the plastic on the inside so you don't get the dust on in the um, in the grooves of the records, which is the crackling that you hear when you play it. Anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Now, what do you guys think? Do you think that's orange or do you think that's gold? So this is definitely gold, isn't it? So there it is. I think... I think that's good enough. I like that. I mean, it's definitely not like obvious gold, but how nice is that? That's so good. So, it, it strangely, it looks like it's sort of floating a bit. It's very hard to explain. Is, is it on top? No. It's, yeah, really, really good. So, yep, yeah, side A, you've got Golden Axe 1, and side B, you've got Golden Axe 2. Um, a lot of tracks on these ones, absolutely. And I think, looking at it, there might be a looped end track. They did that with the um, Streets of Rage vinyl. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it. Excuse me, Shinobi Free. Uh, I'm going to play it for you guys. And uh, while it's playing, I'll give you guys a good close-up of this vinyl. Well, a few of the previous ones as well. So here it is guys, number seven. <laughs> 